There we are. All right, welcome back, everybody. This is Frown Gnome, and we are playing Lord of the Rings Online. And it is May fifth, twenty twenty-four. Some people might know that as Cinco de Mayo. I know it as May fifth, twenty twenty-four, and it is right at seven thirty p.m. around that time. And we are in Minas Tirith right now. We're doing after the battle. And we're about to do a session play. Session plays. Thank you, Sounds. Oh, right before this, I was doing a stream. And we were... Let me see if I can snooze this commercial it's trying to do. And we were playing... Um, Fallout 4 on the PlayStation 5. It's my second episode of that. A second stream of that, I should say. Um, go check it out on YouTube when that is available. Probably in a day or two I'll have it out there available. With that said, let's go do our session play here with Mithrinder. Otherwise known as Gandalf. Uh, Secret Return. Can it be that the old words have some truth to them? Aragorn must be called, though it be in secret. They could get rid of all sesh play, and I wouldn't be bothered in a tiny bit. I think most people are right there with you. Can't stand 90% of these session plays. But, this is my first time through the game, so I'm trying to do everything. Where is Willy Billy Silly? He requested Lord of the Rings online session, and there's no, no Willy Billy Silly here. I demand him be here. Hey, look, we're Aragorn. Let's make this large enough for an adult to read. A little bit more. You greet Mithrandir warmly and ask him how the folk of the city fare in the aftermath of the battle. The uninjured are slowly waking from the horrors of the siege, and before long they will return to their daily lives. But many soldiers and townsfolk lie in the houses of healing, suffering from the wounds of battle and the greater hurts inflicted by the Nazgul. Some of the healers remark that if there were a king in Gondor as of old, these wounds might be healed through his skill. You tell Mithrandir that you did not wish to upset the delicate situation in Minas Tirith by entering the city without the invitation of its steward. If you do not go to the Houses of Healing, there might be no steward by nightfall that could offer you such an invitation, Aragorn. Faramir needs your healing arts, as do many others. You might save them still if you enter the city in disguise. Avoid knowing scholars who might see you for who you are, and the political situation should be unharmed. Excuse me. I cannot command you to do this, but I do request it as your friend, and as a friend of Gondor. Okay, you should decide to make your way up through the city in secret. Do we have an ability here that does secret stuff or anything? Mm, no. So, we will attempt to get up there, and uh, we'll fail somehow, I'm sure, and then we'll do it again. Uh, look, there's a knowing scholar. Let's avoid the knowing scholar. He's annoying, the knowing, 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 knowing scholar. Whatever the hell his name is. There's another one. I don't know how far I have to go out, and you know they're not really going to tell me, so it would just be like an instant fail, and I have to do it again. So I'm going to take like a uh, wide breath around all of these. Uh, maybe it will go through here. Are there any knowing scholars over here? Are there any nosy bodies over here? Stick their nose into things that they ought to know about. Ought to know about. Ought not to know about. You know what? We'll figure out how to speak English one of these years. Only spoke it for 50 years, but we'll figure out how to do it correctly eventually. Where's the knowing guy? See, I knew they would they would hide one over there. Oh, 
What, what is he carrying? Nothing. He's just got his hands weird like. Alright. Uh huh. Trying to sneak that one in on me. how far I have to go to get up there. This is almost insane. Oh, that just kind of advanced without me knowing it was going to happen. You arrive in the sixth circle without incident, and I ran right by him. But who shall govern the city? Should we not sin for Lord Aragorn? Aragorn! I was told you did not wish to enter the city. I am glad you have done so, for Mithrandir claims that in you alone may rest the only hope for recovery of the sick that lie within. Let us attend to them at once, and may he prove correct in this belief. Okay, so I need to help Faramir. You study Faramir's face closely, note that he is covered in sweat. His forehead glistens and he burns feverishly. He breathes shallowly and you, the rise and fall of his chest is very difficult to de detect without close scrutiny. The son of uh, Denethor seems close to death if nothing changes and soon he will join his father by nightfall. Okay. It didn't really let me do anything for him. Let me get this off my stupid screen. I hate these things. Okay, click every single one of them. Is that going away? It's just being annoying, that's what it's doing. Okay, I thought I was going through it, but I wasn't. Uh, I don't see another one over here. Here we are, Eowyn. Eowyn is held in the grip of a troubled sleep, but a gray shadow has crept over her features and she is very pale. You have heard whispers of the black shadow that comes from the Nazgul, and it seems to have settled very heavily upon her. Her shield arm is broken, but the healers have tended to it with all their skill, and it seems to your eyes that it will heal in time. The state of her sword arm is more troubling, for it seems that there is no life in it, though the bones are not broken. Uh, we gotta visit Mary. I, mean, I, I can't take this. I gotta get this thing out of here. It's pissing me off. There, now I can see this up here. Alright, we need to look for Mary. It's not gonna be over there. Boom, 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 boom. There's Mary. Mary suffers troubled dreams like ill when he pierced the lord of the Nazgul with his weapon and the encounter worked a grievous harm upon him. A gray pall has settled upon his face and the black shadow stifles his breath. You ask Eros if there might be some Athlas to be held in the storerooms. We have healing herbs of many varieties, but of course never as many as we might wish especially not with some, so many needing our help. It has been some time since a carrier from Lossernock has come, and our stock of Simendural liquor is very low. But I am afraid I do not know of any herb by the name of Athos. I can ask the herb master. He knows the old names. And you tell Aerith that some folk also know Athos by another name, Kingsfull. Kingsfull, say you? My sisters claimed it to be naught but a weed. Now that you mention it, I have noticed that it does give off a sweet smell when its flowers are disturbed. It is somehow a wholesome smell, if you understand what I mean. I did wonder why any king would wish such a plant to be named so, and not one more brightly colored or eye-catching. Kingsfull. Imagine that. Talk to Mithrinder. Okay. If she finds an any Atlas in the city, she will bring it back here with haste. And if there is none to be found, I will ride to the woods near Lossernock and bring back the plant myself. It is good that you came here, Aragorn. May it not be too late for our friends and for the others who suffer in the grip of the Black Shadow. 
If Lorith L runs, yeah, Loris runs as quickly as her tongue, she will be back with Atlas before the sun moves another step in the sky. Uh, what now? I think we've completed it and we're just waiting for it to end. That's my guess. That was it. That's what it was. We were waiting on somebody to go, boom, and now we're leaving it. Drinking Monster Zero Ultra tonight. It's the only monster I can take. All the others have a nasty taste to them to me. Hopefully that was the end of our session play and we don't have to do another one. Please, 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 please make us not do another one. Everybody, chant along with me. No more session play. Make this large yet again. We must trust in Aragorn now, for time is growing short. If there is any king's foe to be found within this city, may be found while it might still be used for good effect. I know that Aragorn did not wish to enter the city before the right time, but without his healer's skill, I fear that these wounded might never recover. Now there is some hope, though it be slight. Now go and find King's foe wherever it might be found. Okay, so we gotta go find, uh, travel to Aragorn's pavilion east of the city. That's not it. Oh, maybe, uh, that's gonna be the repeatable. You have previously completed. We're not gonna do them again. But you have previously completed. Okay, he did not give me a quest to go find King's Fall. So, oh, Aragorn's right here. You know, it's gonna be another three repeatables, isn't it? Yes, it is. If I stood here as crowned liege and not in hooded stealth, that herb master Galathir, or Galathir, would know something of my displeasure. He has decided I cannot fathom how that draught of Everworth is what wounded soldiers most need, when that is farthest from the case. At best it will add to their suffering and at worst, but let us not speak of that. The last cloak diplomacy is the thing of the day, so I must enlist your help, friend. I have had Galathir shooed from this hall, but I cannot keep him from the others. Will you follow Galathir and his herbalist and gather up the infusions wherever he has placed them? All right. There is not time, not time by half. I might treat all those suffering from the Black Shadow, but I fear I shall never find them before it is too late. Will you go before me, Lorandin, and lay a marker by all those afflicted? These are the signs of deep slumber and cold to the touch. Attend closely, and you shall know them. The speed that will grant me me, uh, grant me way... Hmm, that's hard one. The speed that would grant me may well be the difference between life and death. For some reason, my brain just could not take that sentence structure. The grant me may was really, really screwing with me. <sighs> Many of the wounded here are beyond the reach of treatment and will not see the dawn. Some will not even see the coming hour. I am struck by inexpressible sorrow, Lorandin, when I reflect how they will depart quietly with no one by their side, unless perhaps the harried healers as they make their rounds. The healers and I must expend our every precious moments with the living. But you, if you are as moved as I am by this thought, Lorandin, perhaps you will go and spend some moments with the dying. My heart tells me that someone must. Okay, so we got three repeatables from uh, Aragorn here that we need to do. We're like, hey, uh, yeah, you're going to be okay, man. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Is this another one? Yep, see, it doesn't have the ring where you can see it because he's laying down. I learned that, that uh, I got screwed by that yeah, last time I did this quest or these quests here. I wasn't clicking on people because you didn't see the thing, and it was just because it was hidden in the wall. So I've learned my lesson. Trick me once. Shame on you. Standing Stone Games. Trick me twice. Shame on me. I'll never know why MMO companies don't go back 
and fix old expansions to make them better, get rid of the stupid portions of the quest, fix the things that don't work well, things that screw up uh, or uh, mess up the people that, that'll be playing it, you know. They're, they're always like, well, we put the expansion out, people bought it, we'll put in like maybe one or two fixes and then we're done, we're off to the next expansion. It's like, why? Why? Stop abandoning your crap. Go back and fix it. Especially a game like this with the extremely uh, extreme replayability or first time playability by new players that have come to it because it's a story based MMO. It's not a get to the end and then the fun begins. No, it's a story. So your content that's 16 years old, it's still relevant content. Go back and fix it. I know, when, when, when. Always update the content. You'll never know when somebody might be wanting to uh, play through it for the first time 16 years later. Oh, but it's not the latest expansion. They should go buy the latest expansion. They shouldn't play my old content. Why? Did you consider that your old content was throwaway when you made it? I doubt it, but all of a sudden now you think it's throwaway. I'm being whiny. And for the love of God, somebody take out the fart noise that's all over the place in Minas Tirith. It's ridiculous. Can I click this one from over here? Yep. see if it updates anything. No, it didn't. So that was, apparently it's a waste of time on that one. I don't understand this. Maybe I need to go to the other halls. That's possibly it. Let me see if any of the numbers update over here this time. No. They're not updating. It's a waste to do this over and over. It's not like they're respawning that kind of thing, you know, respawning quest or whatever. They're just not... They weren't the one that I needed to click. It just had me click it for the heck of it. Oh, I've already used my uh, charge, so I'll have to just go on. We obviously must go to another one of the healing buildings to finish these quests. the repeatable I did yesterday. I almost forgot. Check my inventory. And a uh, new tell. I have a new tell. I don't remember getting a new tell. What is this? Oh, okay, curly beard. Friend, add to friends list. Here we are. And we got our silver. We get 50 virtue. Hold me back. All right. Let's move in here and see what we can find. 
Wounded Soldier. That one actually updated. What about you? That one didn't update. Boop. 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 Don't click it again. I know you want to, because the ring is there glowing, but we're not going to do it again. Not going to do it. We're going to hold back. Draught of ever something that's in the next room over. Burr. Let's see if this gives an update. Indeed it did. We're at 7 of 8. Not to be confused with 7 of 9. That one was not an update. Anybody else here? Aha! You are clickable. Well, you're targetable. You're not clickable. Take that back. What about you? You're clickable. It says already in use. Eight of eight. All right, we finished that. Uh, remove. We just need to remove the droughts now. You don't want to drink this. Trust me. Is there anything else down here? Oh yeah, there is an area over here. Yeah, we got them all right there. Okay, uh, Drunts, so and so, Returned Aragorn, all of it's Aragorn, so back to the other place. Where am at? Going the wrong way, that's where I'm at. Oh my god, how many times am I going to go the wrong way? Alright, straight across. Oh my, it's been a good weekend. About to start the next work week tomorrow. But, assuming the weather stays good this coming weekend, like they claimed it was, um... I only have four days in this work week because the fifth day, Friday, I'm on vacation because I'll be going up to the farm for the weekend. It'll be fun, fun, fun. I sure hope the weather holds out. If it does, it's going to be beautiful because that's what they claimed. hitching going on here. Uh, this many. If that man does not let up, but now is not the time. I thank you, Lorandin. I will see these dealt with swiftly. You have placed the markers. You are an uh, irreplaceable ally, Lorandin. I will be with them as swiftly as I am able. Thank you, friend. I know all too well what a heavy task it is that you have performed, but I feel sure it was an immeasurable good uh, for, and a great mercy, and shall not go forgotten. Okay, anything else? Nope, those are all repeatables. She should be all repeatables. Yes, that's it. I think 
Unless I step outside here and all of a sudden we have a new, new quest. I think we can finally go on to book seven. I'm probably wrong. I usually am. Oh my. Alright. Take a look at our quest log. Um, Pelinor after battle. All we have is that thing there. Go over to Aragorn. So. I'm going to assume that we're ready to move on to book seven the other way. Make sure that his is just the repeatables. Oh, there's somebody else down here with a quest. Uh, yeah, his are the repeatables that I've previously completed. It's Virgil. Okay. I am to find King's Full Leaves living if I can and as much as possible but truly I do not know how I will find another single leaf does it grow in the cracks somewhere I'm sure I've seen it here or there but I know not where I am driving myself mad thinking how often I walk past that very shape of leaf will you help me I fear to think what that Aragorn fellow will do with me if I do not that king's fool must be about must it not in cracks and greens wards there must be some somewhere this is a repeatable what a bind I am. <clears throat> Doesn't he mean what a bind I am in? Hmm. I found that hooded Aragorn, a few dried leaves, a king's full, or what does he call it, uh, Athelus. Well, now he wants more. The old man who gave me those leaves has not any more. Will you help me? Somewhere about here, someone must have a few more dried leaves. I know where they're at. They're at Mossward, because every time I start a new character in the new uh, Before the Shadow area, you have to do a quest and pick up king's full. Um, let's see. What am I supposed to do here? So that's down on the next level. There's supposed to be King's Bowl all over here. And cut and dried. I'm going to go down to the next level. I think that's where they're hiding at. Oh, there's Wild King's Bowl right there. What the heck? Let's go around the around the bin. Let's see, nope. See, it's taking us out of it, so it's not. It's this way. I just thought I was ready to head on to uh, Aragorn out in the fields. I was wrong. By the way, Sion, I got your message. <laughs> I need more King's Fall. Oh, crap, there's another quest. I'm never going to get out of here. Uh, what is this? Oh, there it goes. It was taking a while. Oh, okay, I see. That's not another quest, it's just asking around. I got it. Um, that's going to take me out of the area for it. Well, it looks like I possibly need to go down to the next one. Uh, yep, saw that. Thanks, all right. If you're wanting in the uh, kinship, by the way, uh, just let me know. Nobody plays <laughs> anymore. It's just me, Terranor, and I think... Oops, hold on. Bibbum. He was two days ago. Oh, Caitlin's been on two days ago. There's a couple that, that play, but we don't do much uh, together anymore. Everybody's just got their thing they're doing. This game fits that uh, playstyle very well. As I'm sure you're well aware. How did I miss the stairs down? 
I don't know. While I'm up here, let me just go ahead and see if I find King's Full over here. Yep, I did. Back when I started this, uh, this kinship, <clears throat> the idea was that we would all level up together and do all the content at level together, and that was fun. We did that for a while. And, uh, when we got up to Moria, everybody kind of, uh, they uh, did their own thing for the holidays because Christmas time came around, and then after that, people just didn't log back in, <clears throat> which is perfectly fine. You know, I realize that people's interests are going to uh, to waver from time to time, and usually with older games like this, people play what's nostalgic to them, and then once it's gotten past the nostalgia they have, they end up stopping playing the game because they uh, run into the same situations that caused them to stop back in the day in the first place. I see the same thing in EverQuest uh, timeline progression servers all the time too. I miss the downstairs thing again. It's right over here. There it is. So honestly, as I, I was expecting it, I was surprised to see how far we went and I had a blast doing it. People uh, that were in the kinship and we were playing together were great. I'd play with them again. Hmm. Where is the next king school? Aha! Found it! Just gotta get to it. There it is. Shouldn't be any more in that direction. Well, around the corner. There's somebody I missed back here that I can see that. Aha, right up here. Okay. Go around the bend here. Looks like there's somebody right here. Aha. Going by them like crazy. Uh, back oh, much better. So much better. All right. Uh, we got all the people, I believe. We still need to get some kings full. I wish when I turned left or right, like one click, I'm just literally going click, 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 click on the buttons, and you can see how far it is. I wish it didn't go as much. I wish it was more granular of a turn, like when you're using your mouse. Kings full. There it is. One more. King's Wall. It's already got it. Um, how do I get to it? There it is. Alright, when you go back and turn these quests in. I sure wish they put the Stable Masters back in. In the after Minas Tirith portion so that I could go up there quicker. Turn this in, it's going to ding us level 104. I still need to go back to the before battle over in Tar Druna, Druin, Drawn, whatever it's called. Um, because there's quests over there that I didn't finish. I 
hate leaving unfinished places. That being said, Terranor will be the first one to let you know that I've left a lot of them unfinished, unfortunately, because this game is chopped full of stuff to do. But I try, I try. Like, let's see, if we go to this, isn't it? Yeah. Gondor. Uh, Mordor? I haven't got to Mordor yet. Um, Rohan, Iriador. Look at all those that I could go back and do. Look at Angmar. My god, only 19%. I didn't do 4 chill at all on this character. Holy crap. So many of them that I need to go back and do on this character. It's discouraging how much I didn't do. Moria, I thought of... Wow, there's a lot I need to do in Moria still. Okay, alright, not gonna look at that. That's depressing me. Moving on. I don't know, I think with this character, the first thing I'm trying to do is just make it through the whole story. That's the main thing. I did a lot of those other areas on other characters, my alts and stuff, because I've, I've played so many characters up that are below the level on this character, so I know some of those I've finished or come very close to finishing. And, uh, it looks like I didn't because... Oh, here we are. Because on this character, I didn't do those areas. What is this? Wild sprigs of, of that Athelus? Oh, you are a miracle worker, Lorandin. I will take this to that hooded Aragorn immediately. Ding! 104. We made it. You were able to find some dried king's fool by the kings of old. You have saved my hide. I will bring it to that Aragorn directly. Okay, now that we've finished that. Another quest. Didn't make it out. I've come from the High Hall of the Houses of Healing, and I'm sworn to keep the secret going, blah 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 blah. But I can tell you that your presence is requested. Because I just finished this quest, and now we must go do more quests inside there. For the grats. While we go up here to find Aragorn, uh, those of you that are watching on Twitch, please hit the follow. If you're watching on uh, YouTube, please hit the subscribe. He's over here on this side. There he is. Some king's fool has been found, but it remains to be seen if it will be enough. I may need someone to help me as I move from bedside to bedside, Lorandon. Will you be that man? Why, yes, I'll hold the herbs for you. I am weary, but there is no time to rest. Time is short for each of them, but for Faramir, most of all. Okay. Oh, we're, we're going to it. Like a little instance type thing. I kind of feel like making some coffee. Let us see if Faramir's condition has improved, Lorandon. I crush some of the king's full leaves and cast them into steaming water. Okay. Let us see if the healing odor refreshes Faramir's body and spirit. I would not have believed the weed could smell so sweet. It puts me in mind of the roses of Imloth Melu when I was young. King's Fool is well named for what king could ask for better. My lord, you called for me. What does the king command? You know of me? I do, my king. I want nothing but to climb from this bed and serve you. 
You will serve me best by resting a while and having some food. We have walked in the shadows for too long and you and are weary. I will rest if that is your command. But what man could lie idle when the king has come again? Farewell for now. Oh, we're supposed to follow him. Your healing skill is to be commended, Aragorn. It proved sufficient for Faramir, but Eowyn's suffering is of a different sort. Eowyn's suffering began before ever she faced the Witch King Eomer, did it not? I do not know why you ask this of me, Aragorn. Her unhappiness was clear to me at the moment of our first meeting. She tended to Theoden in his growing despair and sickness, it is true. That unhappiness was ours to share. But not entirely, Amor, for you had deeds of arms in the riding of the free fields to occupy your mind. Eowyn did not, though she was your equal in spirit and courage. Mayhap I should have known, but I did not. I weep that this was to be her lot. I may be able to cure the hurts of her body and draw her back from the darkness. But if she wakes to that old despair, there is no healing I can give that will cure her of it. <coughs> Ewan, daughter of Amund, awake. Your enemy is gone and will trouble you no more. Ewan, Ewan. Yomer, my brother, you live. They said you were slain. No, it must have been the voices in my dream that said that was so. He's walking on. What of Theoden? Do not tell me that was a dream as well, for I know it was not. The Lord of the Mark is dead, but he bade me give his farewell to Eowyn, dealer, dearer than daughter to him. He lies now in the citadel of Gondor, as befits the great honor with which he passed from this life. I am glad to see the house of Errol restored it to its glory. But what of Meriadoc the halfling? You must make him a knight of the mark, for he is valiant beyond measure. He lies also in this house, and I will go now to him, but Eomer will stay yet a while. Speak no more of war until you are restored to health and renewed of hope. Health I may yet have if there is an empty saddle for me to fill, but hope I do not know. Alright, we need to go find where Aragorn ran off to. Burp. Is he going to be all right, Strider? He will be fine. I came in time and have called him back. The wound he suffered will heal, and I know there is strength in his spirit. Master Merida, your friends are here, and they wish to see you. I am hungry. What time is it? It is past supper time, Mary, but I am certain they'll, they will let me bring you something. Oh, I am certain as well, and it is something uh, said I know a thing or two. Indeed, for this rider of Rohan, I believe nothing will be held back. His name will be held in high honor within the city. It is good to see you again, Lorandon. Do you remember when we crept to see Theoden's war council in the Druidan forest? It feels to me as if that was years and years ago, but it cannot have been. I have been caught in a terrible dream, but already the memory of it is fading. I think supper will be just the thing, and afterwards perhaps a pipe. No, not a pipe. I don't think I will ever smoke again. Theoden was sorry he would not be able to speak of herb lore with me, smoking our pipes in comfort and peace. 
I will never be able to smoke without thinking of him. And why should you not, Mary? Light your pipe and think of him, for he kept his oaths and proved a great king. He would be glad for you to think of him over a pleasant smoke, I think. You may be right. Thank you, Strider. Thank you for all your help, Lorandon. We have done much good here, and there is more to do before I can rest. But I'm glad that some of the evils that befell us upon Pelinor have been remedied. Oh my, how much more is there in this thing? Before we get back to the epic. Alright, uh, we need to go talk to Aragorn. I chose right. Um, okay, nope, nope, okay. Uh, that's after the battle, something that I talked to Gandalf in the hall. Okay. Uh, he's right here. Those Aragorn has seen to Will Hill in time. Now he will attend the hurts of the others, the rest in these houses of healing. That rest in these houses of healing. And only then will he return to his pavilion outside the city. These wounded are fortunate indeed that Aragorn came to this city and that Irith remembered that doggerel from her youth. The hands of a healer indeed. For now our friends must rest, but it is good to know that they will recover from their hurts and be themselves once again. Alright, so what is this? Quest indeed for the same name. Uh, after battle, after battle, talk to Emra Hill and this is going to refer after the battle. Okay. Um, deed completed. Title awarded. I am the healer now. And five free Lotro coins! She's still got her repeatables? Yes, okay. And Aragorn doesn't have anything there. Alright. Alright. Crossing our fingers. We're going to go outside here, and there's not going to be a continuation. We're going to get to finally move on to book seven. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Okay, that's the same thing down there. I don't see anything here. Yeah, yeah. I think we made it. Um, in that case, let's take the return down to the front here. It's after battle this. <coughs> Let's see here. You know, I haven't looked at this stuff before. Let's look at the gear. <coughs> uh, sage, scout, and warrior. What do you got? Stuff that I can't buy. Worn helmet of the Pelennor Fields. So you have to have the item or something. I guess you get this from something. I, I don't know how you get these. And what does it make? A very nice item indeed so yeah I guess you have to like go do quests and stuff and instances and raids and get these things and somehow come back that's my my guess all right we won't be using any of that what about this over here uh-huh more stuff that we don't have yep all right moving on that was totally helpful um all right, Minas Tirith, before the battle, to the threshold of the city. How do I get there? Travel to Aragorn's pavilion, east of the city, after the battle. Okay. Is there a horse that takes me there, or do I just go out there? Oh, here's some other stuff. Uh, challenge rewards vendor, featured instance. Okay. Okay, that's not something I need to worry about. Not right now, at least. Let's get on around. 
I believe these quests out here in front of us are going to be the uh, repeatables that I did yesterday. We'll just verify. Repeatable is previously completed. It's going to be three of them. It's going to be the same thing. His is three of them. Previously completed. Yes, we've done these. Gorn's Pavilion. Oh, good. Stable Master. Perfect. Uh, what all we got? Mithrin Deers here. Aragorn, a whole bunch of people. Let's get the flaming one first. Aragorn wishes to call the Council of the Captains in order to determine what to do next, but many of those he desires to have a voice are elsewhere on the fields or in the city. Dev, uh, Dervan of the north and Elfhelm of Rohan are not far to the southwest. If you can hasten their return to the pavilion, I can almost guarantee you the way they've stated that, that means each of those people are going to be a quest hub out there that I'm going to do something for before they'll come back. I can almost guarantee you. I met Legolas the elf on my way here, and I understand he is a friend of yours and was a companion of Mithrandir in the north. He spoke fair words to me, and I marveled that his journey brought him to these lands during time of war. Aragorn will want him to be present as well, and also his friend, the dwarf. I did not catch his name, but it seemed to me that elf and dwarf were bonded as friends, and you might not find one without the other. That is unusual of itself, but <clears throat> these are strange times, and we may well find our strongest friendships where we least expect them. And Aragorn... Ah, Lorendin, I have need of your assistance. We have won the battle, but the enemy is far from true defeat. You understand this as much as anyone. We must act swiftly and decisively. We are soon to embark on our most uh, our arduous and perilous journey yet, I think. I hope you will come with me, but first I must ask you to bring word to Aylmer and Angbor that our forces, that our forces such as they are, must be prepared to march. Also, the Odin, Fastrid, Goldir, Halbarad are but a few of the names of those who fell on the battlefield yesterday. Many more of the fallen remain uncounted, and we cannot mourn, remember, or honor them while this is so. Please, my friend, go about the pavilion and see what you can learn of the battle. More took place here than any one account can uh, comprehend. And Yomar King. It is good to see you again, Lorandin. I saw you speak with Aragorn and guess at what he asked. Many Rohirrim have died this last day. If we were to stop now, their deaths would surely be for naught. I am rightful king of Rohan now, and my men will do as I bid. Tell Aragorn I raise my sword with his, and that when he blows his horns, we will come to the call. At least right there. He's literally right next to you. You could talk to him. He probably heard you tell me that. Anyway... Lorend and I have decided that before we take further action, we must dispose of the vile corpse of the Witch King's fell beast. I feel a shudder of revolt every time I look upon it, remembering how my uncle and king died there, and how my sister Ilwyn nearly fell too, battling the Witch King. The men shun it as well and whisper that it is ill luck to let your gaze linger on the dead beast. It should be purged. Okay. Let me know when you are ready, and I shall fetch Mithrandir to accompany us. He has mentioned some concern with the corpse and wishes to oversee its disposal. Okay, we're going to do something here. At least we're not running around Mithrandir. Or not Mithrandir. <laughs> Minas Tirith. For once. I love Minas Tirith, but seriously. Way too many quests. Okay. The carcass of the fell beast still mars the field at which it breathed its last, and it remains a foul reminder of the villain it bore. It must be removed. I had thought to do so quickly and without ceremony, but a number of scholars from the city beseeched me, wishing to preserve some part of the creature for their study. Take this heavy cloth and wrap the head in it so it may be safely transported to these scholars. 
We will then burn the, burn the body, for it cannot be allowed to fester here at the site of Theoden King's ending. Okay. Good work. Now set the head aside for a spell while you attend to the corpse. Burn the carcass. Okay. Corpse burns with eerie flames. Good riddance to this foul creature. Excuse me. The dead beast and its foul master have both been cleansed from the Pelinor, and for that you have my thanks, but the memory of them lingers. You would have seen both head and body burn, but if it is Gandalf's wish that the head be preserved for scholarly study, I will not gainsay him. <coughs> it's probably a good idea. I mean, it is Gandalf after all. Let us away to the houses of Lord Lorandon, and we will bring with us our freshly wrapped burden. May the cloth shroud the eyes of any who see us pass, for such a burden will work fear in the hearts of folk of the city, even if its days of rending and tearing are done. Tearing, 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 tearing. The greatest evil it possesses now is against the nose, Lorandon. Let us deliver it to the scholars with this advice. Keep it not in an enclosed space, rather. Let the place of its study be an airy one, and dispose of the foul-smelling relic when you have learned all you can of it. I would say burn it so there's not a chance that it could accidentally come back. I mean, what if some necromancer-type person shows up and brings the foul beast back from its head somehow? I don't know. I'm just saying, it should have been burned out there and forgotten. And great scholars of the houses of the lore. My friends, I have turn, returned from the field. We did not think you would return so soon, Mithrandir. We did not think you would return empty-handed, either. Fear not, my friends. I have been true to my word, and there is a wrapped package just without. Brr. I will spare you the sudden shock of discovery. Within you will find the head of a fell beast. Can it be the head of the Witch King's steed? The very same. Study it with care and learn what you can. We have our thanks, Mithrandir. You are most welcome, my friends. May some wisdom come from even this. Thank you for your help with this unpleasant burden, Lorandon. Such creatures are bred in the darkness of Mordor, and little is known of them, save that they are raised in corruption and used for evil. They are fed vile meats and treated unkindly, and have proved fitting steeds for the enemy's most powerful lieutenants. Can they teach us anything more? Perhaps our friends here will learn something valuable from this study, and perhaps not. But I'm glad to have given them the opportunity for such learning. If there is a chance, it might be had. You should return to Aragorn's Pavilion if you are finished here. Okay, I will. I'm sure that lore masters of Gondor will learn much from studying the head of that foul creature. I po hope only that the risk does not outweigh the reward. We get to choose something here. Uh, we want might. We can't use it yet because we're not 105, but we're going to take it anyway. We fought and we died on this field, the men of Rohan and Gondor. We fought and by some great miracle seized the day from the arms of an overwhelming foe. But the battle is finished and it is a new dawn, so how is it that some foes linger yet upon the Pelennor? I have received word of one orc captain who seems bent on fighting to the last, taking as many of our men as he can with him. I am weary of death, Lorandon. Will you find this captain and put an end to him? Absolutely. Consider him dead. We got quests everywhere. I wonder, can we do any of these here? Um, where's our task one? Here it is. It is absolutely chocked full. I wonder if we have any of the tasks that's going to be for this one. Um, 
get this over here. Bubbling goo. Bubbling goo, not nearly enough. How about burnt? Nope. Moldy. Moldy skin? Yeah, we can do that one. Prismatic carapace. We can do that one too. Reeking filth. We can do it. And worn fur. We definitely can do that one. We got four sets of that one. All right, let's turn these in. That's one. There it goes. It's a little delayed. It is ten of them, right? Looking everywhere for it to tell me how many it doesn't say. It usually is 10. I'm just going with it. Alright. Let's see how many more we can do. Um, worn fur. We can definitely do that one. There it is. 10. Okay. And we can do another worn fur. We reached our task limit? Not yet. We can do another worn fur. Well, looks like we still haven't reached our limit. Uh, what was the other one? Freaking filth. Yep, we can do that. We still got more. Prismatic, I can't remember if we had. Nope. Moldy. We can do that one. Where's my task thing? any others that we can do. I think we are out of the ability to do any more. Uh, task 9 of 11. So we could have done two more, but we don't have the uh, stuff to do it. Uh, we're good here. Let's do this to see where we are on the reward track. Oh, we got another claim. Still way away from where I want to be at 100. Man, they're so far off. All those that, that we've done, I can't believe it hasn't gotten this faster. Did I? Hold on. Hold the phone. Where's my item? Um, where's my neck piece? Or is it earring? Okay, there's my legendary. So I still got that. I don't know why I'm not going up the reward track very fast. With all the quests I've been doing. Brandon, my friend, I've been looking for Harding. He and I were fighting side by side, only to get separated in the fray in the late morning. Thought that we would meet again here at the pavilion, but alas, he is nowhere to be found. Okay, these are all the people I need to talk to. Or maybe not. This is a repeatable quest. Gives me enhancement runes. That's good. Deliver 50 host of the West Silver Pieces to the host of the West Quartermaster. See the Quartermaster? He is. Some special inventory on offer. If you bring me 50 hosts of the West Silver Pieces, I'll give you enhancement runes. I can offer you the okay. But I don't know. Host of West Silver Pieces. Is that in here? Yes, it is. And I have five. <laughs> okay, moving right along. I'm sure you fought bravely in battle. How I survived the ordeal, though, I cannot say. This old body has seen more combat than most. I suppose I am very lucky to still be alive. Learning it has been long since we last spoke. I was unable to ride with the rest of my brethren into battle, for it took longer than expected to depart. And you sh I can assure you that Beacon Watch is safe in my absence, though. I expected to make good time on the ride south, only to be thwarted by a group of Urukai. 
believe they were tracking the rest of the riders, so I diverted my path from theirs to throw them off the trail. I rode into battle towards the end and did my best to take out as many orcs as I could. I stayed by the side of the Odin King even after his passing and helped escort his body to Minas Tirith. When I heard that Aragorn had set up an encampment on the Pelennor, I rode out to join him. Here's another person. I cannot help you. I still heavily bear the loss of my sons. I believe that's the guy that had the two uh, sons, the brothers, that were trying to kill the, uh, oh, the big elephant thing, Mumikin or whatever it's called, that got killed. It is good to see you again. A true man of honor and nearly as fearless as I. You relate Aragorn's request. I have trusted Aragorn since the moment I saw Thorin Gil return to Lynn here. Come there, uh, come. There is much to be done if we are to move an army. Okay. What else do we need to do? Wish I could zoom in. So badly I wish I could zoom in on the maps. But it doesn't work that way. Let's get on an ordinary mount and move around the camp a little, a little faster, see if there's anything we can do. Don't see anybody else over this side. What about on this side over here? Nobody, nobody, nobody. Okay, we're good. So back over here to Aragorn. Hmm, that yielded less than I had hoped. No matter, can I rely on you to find those still missing or presumed dead? Let me think a moment on what must be done. Oh boy, here we go. Devorin, son of Borhador and Rassaran, a swan knight under Imrahil's command, are unaccounted for. You should search them, search for them at once. Many corpses have been recovered from the field, some nearly beyond recognition. I fear that Duelin and Durfin, who were trampled by a mummock, may be among them. Would you ask Dun here if he is willing to identify his sons? Well, that's not going to be pleasant. Vorlong, Galaskil, and Hiluan all were lost in the tempest of yesterday's combat. What befell them is unknown, though I fear the worst for Vorlong. Was last seen was last seen charging at full fury towards a line of Suhalar. Please search for them along the wreckage of, on the Pelennor. Ingold, captain of the Outwall, and Turgon, captain of the Southgate, both remain missing. Emmerhill felt sure they had retreated into the city before the start of the battle, but now it seems it was not so. You must add their names to those you seek upon the Pelennor. Okay. I think we are now prepared to go out and do something, although I see some... Oh yeah, we gotta talk to him about his sons. You gently explained that Aragorn has asked Dun, uh, Dun here to identify his son's bodies. I cannot. I have seen so much death to see theirs. You came to know them well in these last days, did you not? Will you go in my stead? I will. Question is where do I go in his stead? Right here it's blinking. Okay, so it's back out here behind me. Somewhere. That way. We found one of them.
the other one. Man, that's sad. Thank you, Lorandon. I understand that it was a difficult task, but you have shown both discretion and courtesy in seeing it through. Okay. Our next thing we need to do is up this way. Battle is ended, Lorandon. It was a victory hard bought, and many good men fell upon this field and will not return to their homes. Alas for Elf Mar, alas for my son. As much of the Elf word as remains mourns for him, and I weep with them. This man, Dirvan, was a companion of mighty Galadir, who slew the Olag Th uh, Thrugroth, though he died in the doing. We have been sharing tales of our fallen, and it has eased my sorrow somewhat. Though it cannot ease it, I mean erase it, his people appear stern and grim at first, but I have marked that they speak warmly of their friends and the lands from which they hail. Perhaps they are not so very different from the men of the mark as I supposed. I will seek for more of the leaders of my people and go to the ranger's pavilion at once. I am happy to see you survived the battle, Lorandon. So many of our friends did not. Loyal Halvored, Wary Goladir, Young Celerant. I feel their loss keenly. Eight of my brothers fell upon the Pelennor in service to Aragorn, but if they had the choice of fighting for him once again, you would find eight minds unchanged. I will continue on to his pavilion, Lorandon, and no matter his command, I will see it done. I'll be darned, it wasn't a quest hub like I figured it would be. Uh, give, give me a second, I need to do something real quick. quest uh, is up here. Something up at the gate, up there. Oh, Legolas and Gimli are up here at the gate, most likely. We have been to see Mary where he lies in the houses of healing, and I am pleased to report that he will survive his wounds. We spoke with him for a time and rested upon the wall. He is weary, but the worst seems behind him. Have you taken the opportunity to explore the city, Lorandon? It is impressive, but there are not enough gardens here, and the folks suffer for their lack. They need more that is green and growing. If Aragorn does claim his crown, my people will bring him birds to sing and trees to thrive, and this will be a better city for their presence. We are on our way back to Aragorn's pavilion, and I am eager to learn what he chooses for his next course. Now that the battle is done, I have taken a good look at the stonework of the city. Some of it is finely made, but there's plenty of careless stonework as well, and I see much that might be improved in the layout of the streets. Do not mistake me, mistake me. any dwarf would see the same. Where should we go next? My axe has not yet had its fill, and I will wield it on behalf of Aragorn wherever he deems it most needed. Okay. And we 
we've got this out here and this out here. Let's go to our left first. to be gone. We're going to die with honor in combat. Let's head down to this green one down here. Seriously, a rat? A little rat decided he would attack a horse. You gotta be kidding me. And of course the gnats will attack as well. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do out here, but let's get off the mount. Uh, what is the carrying crawler all about? Is that part of anything? kill it anyway. What the hell? Let's just kill it all. Let God sort it out. That didn't do anything. Is there anything to pick up or click or anything out here? Ah, oh, there's who we're after. What is that supposed to be doing down here? If I get my horse to cooperate, so it to stop and it just kept going. Um, it's that one. Ingold. Find Ingold. Let's get off of that mount and get our ordinary one. It'll be easier. Come to assist me in defending the wall. Small orc groups still linger in pockets. There is much to be done. Why do you stand there? Have you something to say? You explain to Ingo that he has been missed and should have returned to Aragorn's pavilion. I will go at once. Surely there I shall find others who will join me in wiping out every last threat to the Ramus wall. 
Okay. That is that spot. So the next one's way down here. So we will get on our four steed and ride. trip this time down this street road whatever There's a moment. Another dead moment. You found the spot where Herluin lies slain. And further down this way. Stopped by the invisible wall. What the heck is the entrance to this thing? Oh my god. Invisible wall after invisible wall. There, I found the entrance. Hey, we found Rosarin. You appeared just in time. These Herodrim refused to surrender, and wearied as I am, I fear I might not have handled them on my own. I must see my wife, Bruidus, again. It is what keeps me going. I shall meet you back at the pavilion, my friend. Okay, what else do we have left? Something way down here and over here. This is Finder Boren. Hmm. There he is. Thank the stars. It's good to see you. Though I am pinned, I do not believe my leg is broken. If you would assist me, I should be able to make my way back. Oh, 
Nope, this way. The enemy were everywhere. I did my best to fend them off, but I was separated from my allies. I was able to hide here and lose them after I fended off a party of orcs who tried to ambush me. To say it's safe to return now, I will go. And one more spot. for for long. I don't need this up here, I just realized. Where's that at? There we are. Nope, we're headed right for him. Well, I'll be. Four long still lives. My friend, I am dying. But you could see that for yourself, I suppose. All oh, the good times, the adventures. What I wouldn't give for one more draught of that wine. Furlong coughs and tries to laugh through the pain. Ah, my friend, I forget for a forget wine. Would that I could see Thorngill once more, I would swear. You must forgive me. I would swear I saw him upon the field of battle beneath the banner of the king. What delusions come upon us when our deaths are nigh. And yet, if it were him and he had returned in the hour of glory, here, take my horn. If Thorngill truly has returned, he will know its sound. He will come. I I am sure of it. Blow his horn. There it is. It's Aragorn! I thank you. I bid my old friend a last farewell. Too late and yet just in time. I have this memory now, and I shall hold it close to my heart always. These wounds are beyond healing. This is most likely my last breath. Tell my fair Vanya this, that I love her. She knows this truth a thousand times over. Rest well, my friend. This is such a sad part of the story. <clears throat> Am I supposed to just stand here? I don't think so. Um... Let's go back over to the pavilion. I've got an angry rat chasing me. <laughs> Thank you, Lorandon. <clears throat> the battle is won, but time is still short. 
A decision made without all of the information is undermined, even as it is made, Lorandon. When we meet in council, some things that were kept secret must be revealed if we are to properly weigh our choices. I hope you will think no less of me for keeping these secrets, my friend. You are a good friend and true, and if I kept you in the dark, I did so only because at the time I thought it was needed. Speak to me when you are ready to meet. This is good news for you, uh, you bring. No more battle-weary men shall die by the hands of Shumug. I commend you, brave champion. Lorendon Elfilm has come to me. He has said that he wishes to speak with you. It was peculiar as usually. He speaks with great detail. While I do not know what it is that Elfhelm seeks you for, it did sound urgent. You should speak with him as soon as you are able. He did tell me one thing. He wants to meet you at the old guest house in Minas Tirith. Back to Minas Tirith, huh? Hmm. What else we got? Do we have any other turn-ins? There's just that guy over there, isn't it? That has that quest that we're not going to take at the moment. Oh, there's a milestone. Let's go grab the milestone. Uh, which one do I want? Minas Tirith, first tier, or... Old Norian. I don't remember that one. Let's use that one. Alright. Both Dervoren and Rosarin are safely returned. I have seen them with my own two eyes. How relieved I am. Ingold has returned, but what of Turgon? You tell Aragorn that Turgon was slain. Ah, I see. This is grievous news. I have heard much of his heroic deeds at the South Gate and all he did to ensure my safe passage in the fields. It's time to decide our course. Sorry, nine o'clock. We're at an hour and a half already on this particular stream. This way, Lorandin. I think they will soon start. This is going to be heavy speech reading time, I'm sure. The captains who fought on Pelennor are here now, Lorandin, and it is time to begin. Greetings, my lords and friends, captains of the soldiers assembled on Pelennor. We have won a great battle, but now we have a choice to make. Much rest upon our decision. Of what decision do you speak, Aragorn? Mithrandir will explain it to us all, that we may choose our, a right. <coughs> okay. Clicking. I'm just waiting on it. Oh, I gotta turn the UI back on. You remember the words of Denethor, Lorandin? In them, I think there's much we might learn. Yes, the steward of Gondor had much to say about the dangers that threaten us. He claimed that victory on the Pelennor might last for an hour or a day but that we could not hope for a lasting victory against the power that rules in Mordor. Denethor fell into despair at the sigil of Saron's armies in the depths of the Seen Stone. We must not despair as he did, though it took all our strength to fight back this first assault. The next assault will be greater than the last. Sooner or later, one will come we have not the power to defend. Denethor was right. Strength of arms will not bring us victory. What then can we do? If we cannot achieve victory, would you advise us to hide behind our walls, enduring siege after siege until we can last no longer? You would have us retreat, retreat to Minas Tirith or Dal Amroth or Dunharrow and wait for the end? I will not play like a child with a castle, waiting in fear as the tide comes in. Oh, with a sandcastle. 
Yet, this is exactly what all of Gondor did during the days of Denethor. Watching, waiting, doing nothing. Do not misunderstand me. I still hope for victory, but not through battle. Okay. Into this debate must come the Ring of Power, for it is central to the matter. You know enough of this thing to understand our danger, my lords. If Sauron regains the ring that he lost, his victory will be complete. Your valorous deeds will come to naught. But if the ring is destroyed, his fall will be swift and total. The great evil of this world will be gone. Sauron will be no more. Saron knows all this. He knows that the ring of the he lost has been found again, but he knows not where it is now. His greatest fear is that we have found it, for there are those among us with the strength to wield it. Am I right to think you revealed yourself to him, Aragorn? Yes, my friend. Before I rode from the Hornburg, I deemed the time was ripe to use the Stone of Orthanc. Saruman's seen stone. I believed that the stone had come into my possession for this very purpose. Ten days had passed since the ring bearer went east from R uh, Raros, Raros, something like that. I thought it would be uh, meet, would be meet to draw Sauron's gaze to me, and away from his own lands would be meet to. That's weird. And I known how swift would be his response. Perhaps I should have waited. And yet, the swiftness proved an error. He did not crush Gondor with that first throw. Aye, that is so. You say it is hopeless for us to attack Sauron if he has the ring? But why should he not feel the same if he think we have it? There are some considerations that may slow his hand. The ring can only be wielded by one, rather than by many. Saron will expect a struggle among those who seek to wield it. He waits until one among us seeks to become greater than the others, and that is when he will act, seizing the advantage of our disarray. His Nazgul still fly overhead, seeking signs of our movement. He has not forgotten the sword of Elendil, and now he has seen it reforged. His first assault was turned back and his greatest captain slain. The winds of fortune have begun to blow in our favor. For the first time, doubt has begun to gnaw at him. We do not have the ring. Through either wisdom or folly, it has been sent away to be destroyed, lest it destroy us. Without it, we cannot defeat Saron by force. This, then, is my counsel. We keep Saron's eye fixed upon us and blind to his true peril. We march out to meet him, making ourselves the bait. He will see this as the prideful action of a new Lord of the Ring. He will empty his land, seeking to destroy this young upstart and take it back. Giving Frodo his chance. It's a trap, not for us, but for the Dark Lord. I 
hope everybody in here knew that that's who has the ring, because now they do. Legolas is right. We seek to capture Saron's attention and keep it fastened upon us for as long as we can. But do not misunderstand. If we march to the Black Gate, there will be nothing to keep him from sending the considerable forces within Mordor to crush us completely and without mercy. We will buy time for the Ring Bearer to complete his mission, but there will be no more time for us. Any who go with me on this last march should know he goes to his death. There will likely be no returning from this. Still, I consider it my duty to try. I do not claim to command any man in this. Let each make his choice as he, sh he will. We came from Imladris with this purpose. We will not turn back. I do not know much of these dealings, but I know this. My friend Aragorn aided my people when they had need. I now will aid him. Aragorn is my king, whether he claims it or not. He wish his wish is a command to me. But the city must not be undefended behind us. Ah, darn it, hit a button. We do not need a great force to march on the Black Gate. This is not an army with designs on victory. We will determine the numbers we uh, bring east and the numbers we leave behind. May this be the right choice, Lorandon. I would rather die doing my part to bring about a new age than to do nothing and know the new age will never come. Well, that's pretty epic. Just waiting for it to kick me out of the little instance here. Maybe I have to click on him. Okay, there it goes. Right, before I even clicked it, it finally went. This is not the easy decision, Lorandon, but I think it is the right one. We cannot defeat Saron in battle, but we must draw his gaze and keep him upon us for as long as we can. All our hopes lie now on Frodo and Sam, and we must do what we can to aid them from afar. Well, we get to choose a cloak, and we will definitely be looking at this for the looks of it rather than the stats. Oh, that is sweet right there. Also very nice, and also very nice. I like that one a lot. Uh, question on the back. Nope, you can't change the dies on them. So this one was will based. This one's agility. And this is might based. They're all 105. That is a really nice cloak, though. I like the looks of the first one, but I like the stats on this one a lot. That's going to be the one I'm going to take right there. So it is decided, for better or ill, the men I sent marching through Lossernach from Pelagir have drawn nigh the city. So too have the men I commanded to follow the Corsair ships and smaller war watercraft up the Anduin. They loiter now, waiting for orders. Let us give them direction and hope that they make good for their word when they find that discretion is east toward the shadow. Take this call for soldiers and read it to heralds on the field and throughout the first circle of the city. The heralds will then bring its message to the waiting soldiers and float the number of men that will march with us. All right, let's take a look at our inventory. Put our oh, we can't put it on yet because we're not 105. We're getting close to it. What was this here? Call for soldiers. 
and this is a 101 tracery. And we got so many items here to go through when we have a chance. Anything else in here I need to do? Okay, we need to go to each of the people, apparently. I still cannot believe that Forlong and Herr Lewin are both dead. These are hard and hard times. These are hard, hard times for Gondor. Thank you again for your assistance. I see everyone here preparing for a march to the east. I want to join them on this journey and help where I can. I thought I was done for her out there. I could only think about how I had let my family down. Now I have been given another chance. I will follow Aragorn to the Black Gate. Let Gondor take the offensive against these Mordor foes. Surely it does not surprise you that I stood at my post until the very last when you came for me. This great city I cherish and would defend with my life. It would be hard to leave it behind if I march with you. I would do as Aragorn commands, though. When last we spoke near Pelagir, I expected to arrive before the battle began, or at least in the midst of it. But at last, the enemy struck swiftly while I encountered setbacks and obstacles. Perhaps I will tell you more of my journey sometime. Right now, we must see that the men who will march to the Black Gate are well outfitted and provisioned for the journey. Currently, our weapons and armor supplies run low, but ore from the mountains should help us forge more blades and helmets. Will you collect some ore for the smithy? Oh, okay. Uh, who else? just this guy over and over and his are those two quests there um is that all of it right here basically it's just him oh, we gotta go back to Aragorn it is good to see some of the men of Gondor whom we feared lost return to us even as my heart is heavy with those we know now to be dead Man, had to sneeze. It is time we turned our efforts to the Rohirrim unaccounted for. I have spoken with Lord, I should say, King Elmer, and have the names of those you should seek. Elmer has informed me that Elfmar, Harding, and Torferth are all missing. While they were all seen on the battlefield, none have reported to Elmer since we established victory. Find them quickly. I am counting on you. Elfmar, didn't we? Elfmar was like... We talked to Elfmar. He was right here somewhere. He was in the council. Mm, lost on that one. Elmar has provided me a list of names of those known Rahiram who were slain by the enemy of the Pelennor. He explained that you saw Nothmar on the Pelennor with Herifara, Herifara and Herobrand. It seems that Nothmar is still missing. We thought he was in the city, but word has come back that he never made it. Please look for him while you are out there. He may yet still be alive. I'm a little lost because it seems like I'm doing the same thing again, but these weren't called repeatables. Hmm. Maybe not. I don't know. What I do know is that we are going on two hours of this particular uh, stream. And I am ready to call it for the night. It's going on 9.30 p.m. I got to get up in the morning and start the work week. Yay. <laughs> like I said, it's going to be a short week because I got vacation at the end of the week going to the farm. Yes, I hope the weather holds up and we have a fantastic vacation this coming weekend. Woo! If you're watching on Twitch, please hit the follow. And if you're watching over on YouTube... Please hit the subscribe. And if you would, do me a favor and leave a like and a comment because it does help people do a little search and they find me and yay y'all. And then if you would, head over to the X that used to be a little blue bird. Follow me there. It's at Ferron the Gnome. If I don't see you, 
before tomorrow. Have a fantastic rest of your day, night, morning, or whatever time it is, wherever you are. This is Ferone the Gnome, and I'm signing off. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a fantastic rest of your Sunday. Bye-bye!